Amongst many is the story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam as mentioned in the Quran. He was the great prophet. Why Prophet Yunus alayhi salam was swallowed by a whale? Prophet Yunus alayhi salam was one of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was the young man who was righteous and was sent to people in Nineveh, a place in the north of Iraq. Yunus alayhi salam was sent to his people as a prophet to call them to worship Allah alone and to abandon their sinful ways. He spent many years of his life in pursuit of this mission. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam attempted to awaken his community to the truth. People used to make fun of him. They refused to listen despite numerous tries like a disbeliever. But in all of this time, only a handful of people believed. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam was a human person who became so enraged that he abandoned them to their faith. Finally, he decided to leave, to get away from his people as far as he could. He left his people and boarded a small passenger ship because he was well aware that their actions would result in their own destruction. The punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come down upon them. So he got on a ship even though Allah wanted him to be with them and continue to call them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Yunus alayhi salam was meant to stay with his people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Qalam verse number 48. Be patient, O Muhammad, with your people and wait for the decree of Allah. Do not be like the companion of the hood, the whale. The Prophet Yunus alayhi salam, however, he decided to leave, to be far away from them. So that when the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala arrives, he is nowhere to be seen. So he boarded the ship. At night, the storm started raging at the ship that they were on. So captain had to make decision. After they removed all of the luggage that was excess on the ship, it was still going to drown. So they decided that they are going to remove one of the passengers and throw him off the deck and cast a lot whose name comes out, none other than Yunus alayhi salam. People on the boat didn't want to throw him as they knew this man is a righteous young man. Second time again they casted a lot. Whose name comes out again? None other than Yunus alayhi salam. Third time, that's what exactly happened again. Yunus alayhi salam threw himself off the deck. A person can't possibly survive in the middle of the sea with nothing to cling on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that he was swallowed by a huge whale. Subhanallah. Three darkness. The darkness of the night, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness in the stomach of that whale. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam thought on his mistakes in the whale's gut and prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yunus alayhi salam calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is mentioned in Suratul Anbiya verse number 87. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntum minas salimeen which means no one has the right to be worshipped in truth except you. O Allah, glory be to you. Indeed, I have done wrong myself and I am from among the wrongdoers. I shouldn't have done that. Even in the face of rejection and false claims, he had a responsibility to continue directing his community to the truth and to their own well-being. This clarifies this situation. You feel like that all the doors have been locked in your face. Remember the prophets who have gone through which is far greater than any of us maybe have gone through. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves an individual, he tests him. So Yunus alayhi salam turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance and that's how we should be. The Prophet said about this dua, Never does an individual utter this dua except that 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept his dua. You say this dua with a pure heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond back to you. It's important to think maybe I am going through this because of sin that I have committed in past. Say Tawbah, Allah listens to those who constantly go back to Him and those who are pure. The supplication prayed by Yunus alayhi salam in the belly of the veil offers us guidance and how to repent sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It describes the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that no one is able to forgive except Him while also containing the confession of a wrongdoer in repentance. It was through this prayer of repentance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paved the path of hope for Prophet Yerusha salam and he was released from the veil belly and cast back out to a sea. He later found himself on the shores by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worn out from the words of his experience. As the Prophet was healed, Allah allowed a guard tree to grow over him that provided shade and shelter from harmful insects. He would have stayed in the belly of the whale all the way up until the day of resurrection by, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him. Since he was righteous, he used to do zikr constantly, so scholars tell when you are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely help you in any difficult situations. So this was the story of our Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. Like and subscribe the channel for more videos.